Welcome to No Breaks Required Action Lifestyle Show, live at the USA BMX Grand Nationals in Tulsa, Oklahoma. All right, guys, welcome, man. We got Sam Willoughby in the house. What's going on, Sam? Not too much. Just uh, getting packed up and getting ready to get on out of Tulsa. Man, a lot's happened since we last talked. I believe in March or April at Supers. Lots going on. Actually, some of the stuff we talked about, and it's came true, right? Yeah, definitely. It's been a busy year. Um, since back in March, we've had World Championships, we've had Olympic Games, Supercross Series, and now the end of the USA BMX Series. So there's been been a lot going on and uh, a lot of fun. Now I noticed. Are you still of a lease, also, lady? Yes. Yeah. Okay, still so living together. Yeah. Okay. No, oh, hold on. There's hesitation there. <laughs> Have there been some problems? No problems. No problems. Okay. So now we talked about what might happen in the event. You go there and you win a gold medal. And you recall the interview at all? I do. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we were concerned that maybe if you got the gold, you were going to be a superstar where you're from. Okay. It was a big deal. You already said you're kind of a big deal, right? Kind of the Justin Bieber of Australia, oh, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um. So, uh, how has your life changed, man? You went to the Olympics. You got the silver, right? Yeah, I ended up with silver. Um, life's been, you know, I went, only went back to Australia in the beginning of October. Uh, that was the first time since the Olympics, and it was, yeah, it kind of blew my mind a bit, you know. To me, as a BMXer, it was, that's, you know, you, I was satisfied and happy, but at the same time, you know, you want to win. So yeah, it didn't, it didn't. But then when I went home and and I seen what that medal meant to people in the real world, so to speak, outside of our little BMX world, right. It uh, kind of hit home how you know how prestigious it is to one one. Now day. I gotta tell you, I became a big fan of yours. Okay, I know you were, saw you race, but I became a big fan after our interview. Okay, yeah. actually a lot of people know saw a different side of you. Okay, in fact yeah. one of your bosses did. Okay, and so I don't want to call me boss, but team's manager or something. Yeah, like yeah. That. But uh, the thing about it is, is, so then I became this huge fan. So I wanted you to go there and win. I was watching you like everybody else was, rooting for you. Even though you're not in USA, whatever, I'm still going for you. Uh, and then I was going for at least two, though. And then I was talking, like, there's a possible about a double gold medal happening right there in the, house, the same household. Yeah. Well, things didn't go so well for her, okay? It got tragic at the end there, right? Yeah, it did, yeah. Okay, so then you're still in. You make, you get the silver. Um, I got to tell you, did you, after getting that medal, do you have an agent? I'm sure you do, right? Yes. Okay. Have you done appearances, bookings? What's been happening in that front? Yeah, I mean, I went back to Australia, like I said, in October, and that was pretty busy. I went uh, did a lot of stuff around kind of like what's our Super Bowl about the football we have in Australia. So okay. I went back during that time and did a lot of stuff with it, involved with that. And now, how, you say you went back a month, you were there for a week? A I, was there, I was there for um, only 10 days. So oh, geez, you're missing I the got, big payday. Do you have I, any clue what Marion Pajan is making per hour? I know what she's doing, yeah, but I wanted to stay away from all that crap. I still had this thing to do with it. Okay, hold, hold on now, Sam. We gotta talk, now, dude. All right, she's making seven thousand bucks per hour, and she's got the gold. No yeah, offense, yeah. she got the gold. Okay, she's yeah. from Colombia, so but you are sort of the same predicament. How many other uh, Olympians have medals from Australia? Uh, like in all the sports? Or? Yeah, just period. How no, many? it's it. We win. We, 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 we're in the top three or four in medals. Really? So a lot of medals there. So yeah. so obviously you got more, more competition that's not, that's for not the same. Like, not the yeah. same. Yeah, a little Columbia, I got two people yeah. medals that, and of course are gold. So so your paydays aren't the same then, okay? It's so, not going to be the same. It's not, not the same. What, I mean, we know her price. What's a guy like you pulling in per hour, man? If you don't mind me asking, I mean, the well, people want to know. It's interesting. What are you going to pay me for this? Uh, nothing. Nothing? Yeah. I guess that's the price. <laughs> oh, but, but this is an appearance. This is a promotion for the BM, or BMX. But, like, you go to the mall, go to the mall and do any appearances? Sign anything? Uh, yeah, no, I've done a few when I was in Australia and that sort of thing. But a lot of the ones I do are more tied in with my sponsors. Oh, uh, okay. Different sponsors in Australia. So, uh, yeah, it's all tied in within that sort of thing. I haven't... Uh, I didn't do too. I, I mean, I could have done a lot of that stuff if I was at home, but you know, I wanted to be over here, and this is this is my priority. We're not gonna see no like Sam Willoughby dance videos in Australia. Olympic <laughs> medalist. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna sign my name on the wall just yet because I got a lot more okay. stuff I want to do, and I want to keep racing and winning races, and I'm not. That, that's what I enjoy doing. So you're pretty I'm grounded, not, then. I'm not gonna pretend I'm. You know what? Like but I, I've compared you to Brad Pitt. And the power couple here. We've, we've heard that That's said before, fun. right? Yeah, uh, now, I'll tell you something now. Had you, you're going to go off seat. How old are you? What are you? 20 what? 21. Oh, man, so you're still good for in four more years. You're, the next Olympic come around. Yeah, going definitely. for the gold again. You get the gold. you got to milk the gold if you get it, man. you got to yeah. take advantage of that well, chance. You're in BMX. Well, it's a chance to get paid. We'll jump that hurdle when it comes. I mean, to be honest, 
I, I'll make better money staying here and trying to win races than going home. And, and, and I didn't, you know, growing up as a kid, I didn't dream of standing up on stage and telling everyone how awesome I think they are. You know, I want to. You don't have to. They're going to tell you by writing you the checks. You don't. You don't see yourself at the at the club uh, being guest DJ, Sam Willoughby in a house. No, and, and I, I'm not that guy. Not VIP no. in it. Nah. Hop and Crystal, you're not, you're not that guy, huh? No. Now, I mean, I'll go to the events and watch them, but I'm not going to stay. So, now, forget the money. How is this? So, when you went to Australia, is there a status? I mean, were you treated a little differently by people you might have known? Or? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, it's gone from, like, to the point now where people would recognize me as obviously I'm not the Phoenix kid. Was there a lot of publicity, like, on TV there? Yeah, yeah, that was really good publicity on TV. And, um, and sort of known more so in the general in the general public now, which is good for you know my own image and also for being out. Yeah, that's no, awesome. So now let's talk about Elise, okay? Because if things didn't go her way, obviously she trained hard. America's sweetheart out there, you know. And uh, what what she crashed like the semis or, or the, whatever? How do you what do you call that? Yeah, she yeah it was the semi yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, she, she, she had to be one of the odds on favor, right? Yeah, no, definitely. She was in good form going into the race. Um, she had a crash. A few days before the race at a practice She's track. made for that kind of track because of jumps and stuff. And yeah, she yeah. Got the skills but, like um, so she was riding with an injury already, and then, I don't know. It's 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 a weird event. Like it's it, it changes a lot of people. It, it was a weird event, and every, I don't think anyone was themselves at it. You know, I know I wasn't, and it's one of them things you kind of got to go and do and learn, and, and hope that you're young enough to do it again. Did, now, did y'all go because you're on different teams? Did y'all go there together? Uh, no, no. Separately? You I, I was in Australia prior to the Olympics for three weeks and then... Okay, so y'all arrived, y'all, once y'all get there, do y'all stay at different team, uh, well, team places? We're, yeah, we're all in the village, so we're not far from each other, but... Did y'all hang, hang out much? Yeah, yeah, time yeah. You yeah. Out? Okay, after what happened happened, you're still in the, in the detention there. I mean, is it hard to be celebrating when she's going through a struggle, obviously emotional problem, you know, like... I didn't even know she crashed, because I couldn't, I didn't even get to see any other reason, because we were just back to back. I was Oh, really? It's yeah. like, okay, I didn't know because the TV is at it what it is. I wasn't, I mean, I, you try to watch, and if we're in the main, if she's in the main, and I'm the one behind, then you'll watch. Well, here's what I'm, I'm asking. When it's all said and done, you yeah. got your medal, it's time to go home for the night, go have dinner. Yeah, yeah. Is it, was it hard to, like, celebrate with knowing that she's I, not happy right now? Yeah, I mean, I had to, I, I tried to watch it. I didn't want it to be too, you know, too, you know. It's a tough situation. I mean, way, yeah, but, yeah. But at the same time, she was really good about it, and, you know, that's, that's BMX, you know, it can be taken away pretty quick, so she was really good about it, and we both had a good time after, and, you know, at the end of the day, you, you got to go to a pretty special event regardless. No, it's awesome, just to say you're an Olympian is yeah. badass. And she's young too. She's next four years, she'll be right there yeah, as well, yeah. probably. No Breaks Required is brought to you by Answer BMX, S Squared Bicycles, Titan Trading Cards, Sunbrew Action Living, and TheBarLive.com.